Hi everybody, uh, my name is Brenda and I'm from Pitchin. So welcome to our Get to Know the Founder session where we'd like you, the investor, to know more about our issuers and their stories. So we will spend about 10 minutes uh, speaking to the founders of these companies and we will ask them seven to eight questions about themselves and what the company is like. So after that, we will wrap up the session with a set of rapid fire questions. So today we are sitting down with Wiki to get to know more about Epic. Epic is a cloud-based kitchen that runs on a one kitchen multi-brands operating model uh, to host multiple internet restaurants with a shared labor force, kitchen equipment and raw materials. So they are currently pre-live on Pitchin and they aim to raise 5 million on this campaign. So without any further ado, I would like to welcome their CEO and one of their founders, Wiki, to our session today. Welcome, Wiki. Hi. Brenda. Hi. Um, would you like to do a quick introduction of yourself? Yes, I'm Wiki, the founders of Epic. So we have been in the business since 214. So as of today, we are hosting like around 90 internet restaurants across our three club kitchens. So yeah, we are in pitching to raise 5 million funds to expand our business. All right. Thank you so much. So let's go straight uh, to the questions. Yeah. All right. So um, let's take it back all the way to the beginning. Um, what's the story behind the company? You know, why did you guys start it? Um, when we first started in 2014, we, we were doing healthy food deliveries. Hence, we call ourselves Appetit Meals. Back then, when we joined this industry, it's just purely based on my MVP. So just think, uh, yeah, it, easy to do. And we think that delivery is something is going to be the future. So we get into the business and fast forward to today, a lot of the changes, we are no longer the same like what we have been in 214. Back then, we deliver ourselves, we have dining, we have takeaways, but things move very fast. So fast forward to today, is, uh, seven years, and yeah, changes to, to who we are today. All right, cool. So what were you doing before running the company? You know, uh, were you always in this line of business, F&D or logistics? Um, no, I, I, I personally, I, I, I was a, a finance guy. So uh, I joined Proto J to, uh, on, on market research. And obviously everyone, I think most of the people have, have some, some stint in, in F&B. So I, I did part-time in, in F&B. And mm -hmm. of course, I, I love food deliveries. Back then, I ordered a lot of uh, Domino's, uh, McDonald's. <laughs> Those are the, the food deliveries that I can rely on back then. Yeah, compared to today. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So you've always had an interest, like, even though you were in a different sector? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, what's a typical day for you, you know, at the company? As a CEO, do you wake up in the morning, do you get coffee first, etc., etc.? My, my, my day is, is, is jam-packed with action. So, <laughs> so two hours never enough for us because, uh, especially for me, because uh, the, the team is pretty lean at the moment. So mm -hmm. a lot of things also, it is very fast moving. The, the development at our, our site is also changes very, very fast. So yeah, the typical day, I, I will be moving from operations to finance, to account, to marketing, to, to, to HR, to, to a lot of segments. So that is my typical day. So I, I sleep very late. Okay, and okay. I wake up very, almost every day. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so is that like a lot of meetings for you, or is it like a lot of um, like uh, more actionable things, or what is it like? Yeah, it's it's mix mix la. So mm -hmm. meetings for us is we, we we don't we don't typically spend a lot of time on meetings la. So mm -hmm. it's always what's the problem when we meet with, with my guys, let's say operation guys, we're like, okay, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. And then we decide that then. So okay. it's always yeah, move, move it very fast. If not. We will be spending a lot of time on unnecessary things at our side. Hence, you will see Epic. The, the, the key things in here is we, we focus on nimbleness and fast decision making. We want to iterate many, many times so that we can see as, as many cases that we can see and we, we can improve because in food delivery business, especially like ours, that, there is no precedence. We, we cannot mm -hmm. actually see what others do or, or copy from case studies or business studies. It, it's rare. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what we need to do is we make the case ourselves, so mm -hmm. we learn from our case and then we move forward. So yeah, that, that's how, how, how it is. Okay, okay. So what would you say is one of the most gratifying thing about running the company? You know, what keeps you motivated? People, people. We have, we have quite a lot of staff, almost. Uh, 
like on, on, on everyday basis we have easily like 70 staff okay so mm -hmm. we, we don't count those come in and out in and out so even though they eat they come in and out we, we don't hate them and then yeah no, no hard feelings we, we understand why why do they leave us uh, most likely most of the time is that uh, the job score doesn't fit them the money doesn't fit them <laughs> things like that but the people is the most gratifying things that keep us going you see in the end of the day Customers, the people, and, and everything, you see, because we're in the people business, the, the people that I mentioned is just not our employees, it's also mm -hmm. the, the customers. So, yeah, that, that, that humbled us a lot, especially me, okay? And at the same time, it, it makes me want to do more every day. Okay, so in contrast to that, right, what would you say are some of the challenges that might keep you awake at night? People. It's also the people. It has always been people because yeah because we are the beast, we 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 can do a lot of automations in our end. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have a lot of automations, a lot of integrations that we have in our end. But end of the day, the the works has to be done by people. Mm -hmm. Even though you can automate a lot of processes and whatnot, but the decision makings, okay, the, the customer service, the service element, is still require some sort of people to, to run it. Hence, people has always been our, our major major issues mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, so they are your biggest motivation, but also your biggest headache. Yep, always. <laughs> okay, so is there anyone out there that you might look up to? Could it be someone within your own circle, maybe close to you, or maybe like a business CEO or sports icon? Too many to mention. Too many. All of them. All of them. Are, yeah, they're, they're, really, they're really good, all of them, the successful one. So the, the takeaway from me, uh, from, from looking up to them, always from all of them, is only one thing, like one few things only, perseverance and hard work. So that, there's not much things that talent can, can, can push you forward as far. I mean, yeah, a lot of sports, man, the, the disciplines, the perseverance mm -hmm. and hard work that makes who they are. So yeah, I admire almost everyone that's successful. <laughs> Uh, who 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 do you you know follow? Who do you look up to? Oh, no, names? If you want to want me to name one fellas, definitely is my father. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely is my father. Because I, I look up to, to him a lot since mm -hmm. young. Hence that particular person is what I will look up to in terms of this business idol icon. I do not know them. I've only read stories about them. So yeah. Okay, cool. So like what what would you say is the most inspiring thing about you know um, looking up to your dad? Hard work, hard pure work. hard work. Yes, hard it's work. pure hard work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, we're actually at the last question already. Um, so, what would you say is your aspiration and entire vision for the company, really? So, the, the aspiration has always been been uh, to, to to build the, the business to, to to a certain scales. So you see, mm -hmm. uh, previously when we are running IP Fit Meals, the, the only visions that we have is just say the Malaysians, okay? Because I think that we do not have enough uh, capabilities, okay, to, to have that kind of appetite to go ASEAN or whatever. But as of mm -hmm. today, I think we are ready, okay? Because uh, by the several years of experience, we, 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 we know what we do and we know what the customers want. That is mm -hmm. essentially the key things for you to, to scale. So yeah, the aspiration for today uh, is to build the largest internet restaurants in ASEAN. Okay, wow, that's so great to hear. Okay, so um, that was actually our last question. So okay. um, before we end the session, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a very quick game called Rapid Fire Questions. So what's sure. gonna happen is I will give you two options and basically you just have to choose one. At the okay. Point. So oh, no pressure. One, one, one or two uh, answer. Okay, you just answer. one only. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure. So no pressure. There's no right or wrong answer. Just short sure, one. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so first question. Um, are you a coffee or a tea person? Coffee. Coffee, okay. Uh, Google or Microsoft? Google. <laughs> okay. Uh, work from home or work from office? Work from home. Okay. Uh, do you prefer football or badminton? Football. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, cooking at home or eating outside? Cooking at home. Okay. So that's all the questions I have for you today. Um, mm -hmm. I hope you had fun. Um, so just to wrap everything up, uh, we would like to get a final message uh, from mm -hmm. Epic to all your potential investors. 
Yes. So yeah, we are raising five millions uh, with a minimum target of two point five mils to to basically the, most of the uh, proceeds will be used to expand our capacities so to reach out more customers in, in Klang Valley for for the moment. So yep. Okay. Um, is there anything uh, special that you want your investors to know or your potential investors to know? Yep. The the, the thing is that I think we want the investors to know is that we are the, the fund that we've raised is not for development. Okay? Every fund that we've raised is to make money. And then yeah, the thing in the, the business info we mentioned that all the the, the funds that we, we raised will be utilized in expanding our outlets, okay, numbers of outlets. And each of these outlets, uh, all of them the payback period is, can be as short as three months. Okay, because when we plug this uh kitchens in these new locations, we are immediately making money in there because we do not need to spend a lot of marketing, uh, things like that because we we have a, a, a very good omnichannel system that when we plug in, the minimum sales that we can expect is 5,000 per day already. That's already 150,000 and we can go up to 15,000 to 20,000 per day. So that is the potential that is assisting in, in, in I mean that we want to offer to the to the investors out there. We're no longer building, we have built for the seven years, we we have all the hard knock things, we have failed, we burn a lot of money for tuition fees. Okay. <laughs> this is the times when I think it's the right time to, to find investors and be res I mean it's it's a right it's, it's a right timing for us to, to do that because we want to be responsible to all our investors. We have not raised any fund yet. This is our first time to do that. Yep. All right. That sounds great, Ricky. Congratulations on expanding so much in the last seven years up till now. All right. So thank you so much, Ricky, for joining us here today. Uh, to those of you watching, please find their campaign page at www.equity.pitching.my. Um, you can post any of the questions that you might have for Ricky or the Epic team uh, in the Q&A section. And um, thank you so much for sticking with us all the way to the end. Um, all right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.